guys, welcome to 15 minutes mobility and flexibility training. We want to stay movement strong in the joints and our muscles. Today we're going to get some mobility, we're going to try to improve range of motion in the joints and flexibility. We want to lengthen the muscles. You're going to want your ball. So let's just begin side to side. Nice relaxing music. So you want to do this workout after a weight training day, a cardio day, maybe first thing in the morning, afternoon lunch break, or in the evening before bed. This is a chill, calming, mobility workout. Music's going to guide us. Nice and slow. Steady breathing. Couple more, hold it on the side. Now reach it out and away. Other side. If you don't feel your body's warm enough yet, don't go so deep. Hold. Now we're gonna do little pulse, back, pulse, back. Go into it, release, into it, release. Four, three, two, switch sides. Pulse, release, pulse, release, pulse, release. Four more, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. All right, so you're gonna, I just gotta show you from the side. Soft bend in your knees, roll it out, and then come back in. Roll it out to a nice flat back, nice lengthened arms, and then roll it back, your timing. Take it out. Nice flat back, arms are nice and long, reaching, and take it back again. Soft bend in your knees, soft bend in your knees, and come in. Okay, are you guys ready? What we're gonna do from here, we're gonna pick up a ball, we're gonna look over our right shoulder. Hold, two, three, and center. So your hips come with you. The ball is coming to the back. Four, three, two, center. Look over your right shoulder. Twist, turn. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Spinal mobility and getting some shoulder mobility here. Turn. Come center. You're gonna sit right here. We're gonna work on ankle mobility. You're gonna put the ball, yeah, go ahead and put the ball. Point your toes, push the ball to your toes. Now flex your feet. Point your toes, put the ball. You want the ball to roll onto the edge of your toes, working on ankle mobility, and come back. Point your toes, point your toes, roll the ball back, flex your feet. Two more, point the toes, Point, point, point. And now, flex your feet one more time. Point the toes, point the toes, and come back. All right, guys, you're gonna just straddle right here. You're gonna do small rocks side to side where your right hand comes on top of the ball. Then your left hand, you're just gonna dynamically Begin to warm up and through that upper, lower body from a seated position. You might be tighter in your lower body than you are your upper body. So you're gonna take the ball, you're gonna just hold and reach. That top hand reaches. That hand, that other hand is just sitting on the ground. So really lengthen that ball away from you. You're gonna feel the stretch in your upper 
and your lower body. You inhale to prepare in a stretch and you exhale as you're trying to go deeper into that stretch. Take the other hand on top, reach, you can flex your foot to go deeper. That hand is on the ground. That hand that's on the ball is lengthening and trying to push that ball away from you. You want a deeper stretch. Flex both feet. Nice and relaxed. We're trying to open up and through the joints. The stretch should not hurt in any way. It should feel really, really good. All right, you're gonna take the ball in the center. You're gonna go small and in, and we're not going deep. Groin stretches can be very deep, so we're dynamically starting to work our way into the stretch. Inhale as the ball rolls in. Exhale as you're stretching. Inhale and exhale. You're gonna notice you can slowly take it deeper. Inhale, then exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale, one more time, inhale. Exhale, now the next one we're gonna hold out. Inhale, you're gonna just go to where you can. You can go ahead and do straight arms. Go ahead, flex your feet. If you wanna go deeper into the stretch, that's up to you. Now while you're out here, you're gonna rock the ball to the right, rock the ball to the left. Rock the ball to the right, your timing. Rock it to the left. You can have a soft bend in your elbows if the straight arm is too much. Listen to your body and you go where it's telling you to go. Rock it in and just shake it in, shake it in. Okay, we're gonna get some lateral movement in here. I wanna just open up and through the lateral side of our body, you're gonna take your top hand down and you're just going to hang. So you can have your top leg in front, two ways to do it, top leg in front, back leg in back, and you're just hanging. You're just hanging over your ball laterally, getting some nice, Hip stretching in through your internal, external obliques, shoulders. You should feel that stretch. Your bottom hand can grab your top wrist if you're flexible enough. Give it just a minuscule of a pull. Our body should be able to move in all directions. And I'm getting your lateral movement in here. Now if you need to support your head, you're not ready for the all the way. Look, I have my bottom hand supporting, all right? So now what we're gonna do is just simply roll onto our back. Now we're gonna do little dynamic moves. So we're gonna have our hands behind our head supporting it. So you're gonna put your head on the ball, then roll it down. Head is gonna rest on the ball. Roll it down, two more. Head on the ball. Roll it down. So your head's resting on the ball. Roll it down. Now, you can keep this small dynamic movement or you can roll all the way over. Point your toes if you're all the way over like me. You can release your hands if you want. Fingertips can touch the ground. Arms can be long. It's whatever works for you opening up and through the front side of the body. Oh, this is like my all-time favorite stretch. Everyone, put both hands behind your head. You want to support it. Let's just go back. Small rolls. Small little rolls. Let that blood flow come back. Now just sit here. Sit here. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your fingertips on the ground. You're gonna put one foot on the other. You're gonna get a nice hip flexor stretch right here. Oh, we're almost done with class, guys. 
I know your body's opening up. I know it feels delightful. And now let's just put that other foot, your fingertips are on the ground. Roll it down, nice piriformis stretch right here. Okay, put your feet on the ground. Let's go to that other side. Lateral movement. So you're gonna take your front leg. It's gonna anchor you. So you can have your hand here on the ground, whatever you want, the lateral movement, and just hang. Opening up all and through the side of our body. Woo, stretching, mobility, flexibility all comes together this is so great to do after a heavy like cardio or weightlifting day i love to get on my ball and just stretch away and just open up and through my joints it feels so delightful okay remember your bottom hand can slightly do a little pull if you need to, you know, rest your bottom hand and rest, um, anchor your head a little more, that's fine too. Whatever your body needs is what I need for you. And come out. Okay, we're gonna come into child's pose. Knees are the width of the mat. You're gonna roll that ball out. And you're gonna rest your butt on your heels and do small rolls side to side if you can. Very small. You don't want to hurt that shoulder. You can put a bend in your elbows if the straight arms is too much. Try to come up higher, lower. Try different hand placements. It's up to you. If you don't like the rocking side to side, don't do it. All right, you're gonna just take one leg in front, doesn't matter. You're gonna roll that ball away. If you don't wanna roll the ball away, use it right here for support. You don't have to roll it away. If you want to, and try to roll it away. Or you can put one hand on your thigh and try one arm rolling away. There's many options. I think right now, I'm okay right where I'm at. Having it help me and support me. ready other side other leg in front let's just use this ball to stabilize us right here your choice you can just stay right here or if you want both arms can reach out if that's too much one hand on the thigh and one arm reaches out so you got to do what's best for you each time you come back and do this workout with me So we're gonna sit on our heels. We're gonna just reach to one side. So we're sitting on our heels and our um, fronts of our feet are on the ground. Top hand is just really lengthening. And now you're just gonna push the ball to the other side. Your other hand is on top, lengthening. Push it center, push it out, straight ahead. So, my butt is on my heels. It's kind of like a downward facing dog, but our knees are in. Our knees are not hip width apart or wider. All right, come up on your feet. One hand on the ball, feet a little more than hip width apart. Fingertips to the ceiling. This is it, other hand on the ball. Fingertips to the ceiling. 
One more rotation. Hand in the center of the ball. Other fingertips to the ceiling. Hand on the ball. Fingertips to the ceiling. Sit on the ball. Right ear, right shoulder. Shoulders melted down and away from your ears. Left ear, left shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Left ear, left shoulder. Chin to the ceiling. Chin to the chest. Chin to the ceiling. Chin to the chest. Deep breath in. Exhale. Two more times. Really slow breath. Deep breath in. Expand through the rib cage and exhale. One more time. We're all done. You should feel really good. Big inhale. And exhale. Do a body scan. Stand up. You should feel loose. I'll see you for our next mobility and flexibility workout together. Angie, Angie Fitness TV.